Hello, welcome to part 3 of my Midnight's Blessing playthrough. I'm Anna from Geek Girls Pwn and I've never tasted the traditional Swedish rotten fish dish surströmming. Last time Sydney's whole life burned down and she had to leave to find a uncle, I think it was, in Limpolt. We got here, I think. Yes. After I stopped recording last time, I picked up a toy bow, so don't freak out if you see that in my inventory. Actually, I might as well show you because I think there's a real bow there too. Uh, yes, here's the toy bow, and here's the handmade one. Handmade. I um, wonder if I can equip. Yes. Weapon. Handmade. Oh. Oh, it's cute with little green emeralds or something. Angel's fan. Strange word I never heard of. And hairloop helmet. Runner's tunic. Finally, I think there will be some actual gaming done here. Um, how do I get back? So, we're looking for um, a carriage, I think, that we can ride to Limpolt. Ah, it's night. And it would cost us a hundred krona. Welcome to Landrevel Forest. Lam Rutain. Pine Green Wood. To the west, Bray. To the north, the Divide. To the east, Sembra's Post. There's a note inside this box. Hark, noble traveler. You have found a traveler's chest. Inside are some supplies that should make any journey easier for the weary traveler as they cross these glorious lands of ours. Created and supplied by the Traveler Society of Greater Amwen. Travelers' chests follow these simple rules. All travelers' chests are free to use by all, although a donation is greatly appreciated as it goes towards maintaining the chests and restocking them. Travelers' chests are located along all commonly traveled routes and roads. For reasons of safety, however, they cannot be placed in dangerous locations such as mines or ruins. There is never a fee for using a traveler's chest, ever. If anyone charges you a fee, then it's, it's not a real traveler's chest. Uh, this uh, rhetoric uh, is... Um, where where do you see it? Oh, and it's in the site on the web, I guess. Um, with this in mind, all that's left is for you to enjoy. Would you like to make a donation? I'm not sure I have the money for that. So, I got a Cicero and a fight with rats. Uh, I was not prepared for that. Okay, um, no talents. No, oh, okay, defend. That was not what I wanted to do. Still nothing happened. Um, This uh, item. That's like a healing potion. This um, fighting... Uh, um, what do you call it? System? Is uh, very much like the one in Vagrant Hearts that I played for about 10 hours. So um, I don't think I have to learn anything. Special, more rats. I'm not a fan of pointless combat in games. Um, if I do more Let's Plays, you'll probably hear me sigh about it a lot. So I'm pretty careless with it. Um, I hope I can fly past it without caring so much. More money. How much money do I have? 
206 krona. I can make the right... Oh, more rats. And a flower. I would love to avoid all fights, but I think I probably have to do them to um, get XP and level up. And as fun it is to fight rats, uh, I would probably need to be powerful to fight vampires later on. Didn't I have a bone? Oh yes. They shot arrows. I'm just picking a direction on random. And some bread. As I said, I have to pick fights. But I don't know why the forest creatures are rabid. Getting attacked by rabbits and mice or rats isn't uh, my everyday game. Oh, I probably should pay attention to what I'm doing because I'm losing uh, health. I guess I can eat a couple of these. Here we go. Also, it might be a good idea to save because I'm really careless now. This isn't a dead end. More monsters. Oh, I don't, don't really want to fight them. Money. No bread. This one looks kind of cool. Hey, come out. <laughs> I'll fight you. I don't know what you call these in English, scarabs or something. Um, in Swedish, ek oxar. It's um, ox, oak oxes. It's a pretty majestic name, Swedish. Not hurting me. Epic music. I do like the music in this game. Oh, respawns. Good to know that that's in the game. That was the wrong direction. Guess we're going north then. Fight some mice. For the thrill of it. Attack. Did I level? I must have leveled up without noticing. My health bar is definitely bigger. Also getting a lot of money. I think, I don't know the economy of this game, maybe a hundred krona is not a lot of money at all. There's quite a bit of trash. <sighs> I think. Quite a bit of treasure lying about encouraging uh, discovery, I think. I wonder how big the studio is that made this game. If it's just uh, one person 
this basement or a collaboration about with a couple of friends perhaps it looks like a love project it's uh, very lovingly made there are four dials on the base of the statue each with numbers etched into them Sadly, the dial seems rusted in place, so how are you helping me? Not at all, not at all. I get easily bored with running around looking for things, so uh, if you have a completionist OCD, I'm not the let's play you want to watch. Hey, I want to save, that one looks scary. Because I'm not a completionist, I don't can't be bothered. Ah, oh, this was the right path. Also, um, while we're speaking about being completionists, I want to go back and look what was around the corner. I lose some fights, some XP, some money, but I can't be bothered. That's just the way I play. Welcome to Bray. This is where we get a um, coach. What do you call it? Money! Okay, 100 krona don't seem to be much because there's a lot of money lying about. Hello, ladies or boys. Oh yeah, glad to meet ya. Welcome to the Bray Coach House. I am looking to hire on a wagon, Jess. Talk to Molly over there. She'll fix your rope right. I want to buy some supplies for your trip. Then I can help you out with that. My name is Gable and I run the commissary hereabouts. So, can I get you anything? Let's look what you have. You have sesame rolls and so do I. You have green mints which are restores 50% TP the TP is toilet paper as far as I know so what can it mean here? what can it mean? I can't guess it so I'll, I'll buy one might be needed wonder candle that will most definitely be needed if this game is uh, anything like uh, Vagrant Hearts and Pretty Ribbon will probably be needed too I don't think I have anything to sell, no uh, I'm mentioning Vagrant Hearts a lot, it's, uh, it's a game from the same developer about two sisters. It's a very good game. I might talk about it more sometime. Welcome to Bray Coach House and Wagon Rental. My name is Molly. How can I help you today? You know, I'm pretty tired of re reading speech bubbles, so I'll just rent a wagon and be done with it. I'd like to rent a wagon to Limpot, please. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's in the Coachman's Guild territory. We don't go that far out because we have an agreement with the Coachman's Guild. The farthest we can take you is across the divide, though. Would that be alright? Limpot is near the divide, right? It's on the other side, yes. Okay, then. Yes, I'd like to go across the divide. I have some money. I hope it's enough. Well, we calculate the cost of the rental based on distance, the type of terrain traveled, and the dangers along the way. We have to pick strong horses for long distances, different terrains require different types of horseshoes, and we might need to hire additional guards if the road to be traveled is full of bandits or wild animals. So, going across the divide, that's pretty far. And the terrain is dusty and rocky, so solid shoes and steel rain wheels, and there are bandits and mountain lions to worry about, Put that all together and it comes out to about a hundred krona. Yes, 
Well, I knew that already, so you needn't <sighs> explain it. Oh good, I have that much. Great, then I'll just take that. You give this ticket to the wagon driver when he pulls in, and he'll know where to take you. Alright, have a seat, and we'll let you know when the driver arrives, okay? Um, okay. We should have a driver come in pretty soon, if you can wait a bit. Alright. Alright, I'm back and a new fare soon. Just the one Mac. She wants to go to Limpolt. Creamini. So across the divide then? Creamini must be my favorite cuss word ever. He's so cute. Yep, she's over there. Alright. So you're headed across the divide. Yep, I'm Sydney. My name is Iliamak, and it looks like I'll be your driver today. Do you have any baggage to load onto the wagon before we begin? Nope, it's just me. Alright then, let's get going. The open road awaits. Let me in! Hop in and we'll be on our way. All set. All set. The next stop, the divide. I changed my voice again. He was talking like this, and I don't know why, but I guess it is because my voice is giving up. Chapter 1, the divide. So, have you been driving a wagon long? About ten years or so. You must really like driving a wagon. Uh, it's alright. Fresh air, sunshine. My seat could use a cushion though. Well, you could just buy a cushion, mister. Hold up. Something's wrong. What? What is it? Ah! Hey, lousy horses! Hold on a minute, miss. I'll get them. But wait, what about me? Wonderful. So I'm stranded in the mountains. Mama, this trip is starting to suck and it's only begun. Well, that worked better than it sounded. What? What? Who are you? Us? Oh, we're just the local welcome committee. Welcome to our humble mountain road. Why does your... <laughs> okay. Why, why does your speech bubble say bandit chief on it? What? Well, it does. See, mine says Sydney and yours says bandit chief. Weird. It, it does not. What the... Who did that? Who put that there? Did you two shuckleheads put that there? Yeah. Uh, no boss, it's always been there. We thought you knew. No, I didn't know this. I didn't even know other people could see my speech bubble. Has this always been like this? Can everyone see it? Uh, yeah, pretty much as long as we've known you, boss. Well, what the heck you mean of my entire life, whenever I spoke to anyone, it said Bandit Chief instead of Jeff? Your name is Jeff? What's wrong with Jeff? I think Jeff's a lovely name. Thank you, Sydney. No problem, Jeff. I like your hair too. Oh, that's nice, Sydney. 
These two said I was trying too hard, but I should just stick with a classic page boy and I didn't need some fancy hairdo to look tough. Nothing I do is ever good for them. They always criticize me. Oh, it's a thug's life, bandit chief. Sorry, Jeff. Boss? No, it's true, Rudy. You tell me I don't need any more tattoos. You know I like having ink on my canvas. I want to grow up my mustache. You and Susan tell me it's just getting away. I want to work on my tan. You to tell me how to. <laughs> you to tell me to wear a shirt. Is it fun tearing me down, Rudy? I have feelings too, you know. Okay, Jeff, it looks like you need better friends. But boss, I I wanted to be a dance instructor, you know. But my guidance counselor is the one who suggested I become a bandit chief. Guess he saw my speech bubble too. My entire life has been a someone else's sick joke. It's not too late, Jeff. You can still do that. Oh, how I wish that were true, Sydney. I really do. But I spent all that money on Bandit's College. All those lab fees and such. I was pretty good, you know. Okay, what do you do for lab at Bandit's College? I, I guess I don't want to know. Good at dancing, not the bandit thing. Flunked out on my essay. Oh, but could I move? I was a waltzer. Nobody waltzes anymore, but I do. And I'm good at it. No, Jeff, you can do it. Look, I'm leaving home for the first time. I don't know what's going on, but I'm still moving ahead. I'm afraid, I'm alone, I'm confused. But it's not stopping me, is it? You can still teach dancing. You just have to believe in yourself. Go, girl. You really think I can do it, Sydney? What have you got to lose by trying? If it doesn't work, you can still do the bandit thing. You guys are very intimidating. I was just about to give you all the money I had. Well, thanks, Sydney. You're a good friend. Not like these nasty critics. We are going to rob her, aren't we? You don't rob friends, Susan. Jeez, no wonder Ted hasn't written you back, if that's your attitude. For crying out loud, Jeff, how are you going to open a dance studio without some seed money? At least rob the girls so we can get out of robbing people. Well, you certainly do live up to your name, Rudy. But he's right, Sydney. Prime real estate is expensive. Sorry, but I'll have to rob you. But I spent all my money on that wagon. I don't have much left. Oh well, she would fetch a few thousand krona at a slaver's market. Uh oh. Oh, did you hear that Sydney slavery? Doesn't that sound like fun? You could do that, and I could use the money we make of you to open a studio. No, Jeff, that doesn't sound fun. I don't think I, I like where this is going. Yeah, not really caring right now, girly. I, I have a bow, and I know how to use it. Well, full disclosure, Sydney. Unless you packed some silver, silver arrowheads before you left. I don't really see how any little bow could help you now. No, this does not look good. Ah, uh, now it looks worse. What, what is this? Your monsters? We prefer were people, thank you. And even werewolves need jobs. Now about that money you have. No. Weird girl. Picking on kids now, Jeff? You again. I thought we lost you in the valley of the ghosts. You did. Lucky for me, you beast don't bathe. I've been following your scent ever since. You, stupid girl, run for it already! I'm not stupid. I said run! Okay, girl, I hope you can take care of yourself. It feels kind of strange to... I'll donate. Um, it feels strange to be opening... 
boxes with sesser rolls when there's a werewolf fight going on beside me, but time to run. Hope you're doing okay, lady. I don't want to fight no rats. And there's a evil looking rabbit with red eyes down there. I'm not sure where to go. Um, okay, I have to fight to get the XP as I said. Um, as I was about to say, I don't really know where to go, but actually not really sure where I am either. Uh, since I'm not good at paying attention to things like that, but I might be in the divide and I might be going to the ghost thingy. You guys will know. Hello, flower, I'll fight you and your rat kids. Also, I should have saved. Not that this flower hurts much. I kind of like the combat stick system. It's easy. And save. These letters doesn't look very um, sturdy. I I read about uh, these mounds of dirt. I think uh, I think it's these because when I um, bought this game, it was on Steam sale, and uh, with it I could buy an uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, a guide. Um, and the guide said something about uh, being able to show shovel dirt piles to get treasure, but it also said that I have to get the shovel, but I couldn't see where. At least fight you. Um, but it was a, a very cute guide. I uh, haven't read one like it since the 90s, when, you know, before the internet, you had to... you couldn't uh, google the the solutions to puzzles in games, so you had all these guides circulating among friends and I had no idea who got the guide and uh, circulated them, but in some magic way when I was a kid I got guides to games. And uh, the one to Midnight's Blessing reminded me very much of, uh, of those guides. Um, this one contains a walkthrough that's not a shame to pat its own game on the back. Um, it's calling the conversations funny and amusing and cute. Hello, doggy. Um, so uh, the guide in itself is. Oh, I don't feel good. Um, the guide in itself is very cute. I. This is not good. Oh, uh, this is what happens when I don't concentrate. No, no, this is what happens even if I concentrate. I'm a lover, not a fighter. So um, I will avoid the dogs. Not that dog, obviously, because this dog is different. I should have eaten. Uh, this dog hurts so about as much. Can I flee? Yes, I can flee and eat more sassy rolls. So, full health and I'd prefer not to fight the dog. Um, I looks like I have to level up more.
did you did you guys see um XP meter um the info screen? I'm not big on leveling up in games or anything. Uh, XP 65. Next one. Does that mean uh, I have only one XP to next level? I need to fight something to find out. But I'm not finding fighting those dogs because they're, those hurt. You see what I did there? I did a smart save, so I'm not locked in here if I die because I'm clever like that. I'm also stupid enough to attack these dogs. Yes! Missed! Ooh, they hurt. Ow! Ow! Ow, I missed too. Please, I'm down. Okay, uh, I'm not going this way. It's time to wrap this up anyway. Um, thanks for watching and uh, I'm happy that we uh, got to do some actual play this time and not only read speech bubbles. We did get some amusing conversation with a bandit chief, Jeff, though. Next time I uh, will try to find my way to wherever I'm going. The ghost forest or what's his name. So uh, take care of yourself and uh, I'll see you. Cheers. Hey, Doa.